What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today in this video, we're going to do My Team Talk Episode 2. You guys showed some really good support in this video, so might as well um, go over, do another video on it. So we're just going to talk about My Team, what's going on with the community, and all that good stuff with the 250k tournament and whatnot. So yeah, as usual, about 20k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you're new. Let's hit 60 likes on this video for a little My Team Talk Episode 2. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about a lot of things in this video, a lot of market talk, a lot of tokens, a lot of god squads, a lot of top cards in the game talk and whatnot. So with the start of this video, I want to talk about the new Jeremy Lin. Now, why do I want to talk about him? So first off, we got Jeremy Lin Amethyst right now, if I could find him, and of course he's uh, nowhere to be found. Okay, hold on one second. We're going to go over the Amethyst and his Evo requirements and whatnot. So right now... This Jeremy Lin in 91 is solid as hell. And let me tell you why. Um, first off, his handles are amazing. He actually plays so good, I literally want to start him. So I will probably get him to a Diamond 93 today. Don't know what the requirements are for 95 or Pink Diamond 97. Uh, if you guys do know the requirements, let me know in the comments down below because I kind of want to evolve this card. His Amethyst plays so good. Now... With that being said, the problem is, if I get Jeremy Lin to a Pink Diamond, which I probably will, I'm going to try to grind him. If I get him to a Pink Diamond and I have him, Walt Frazier, and I get the Stefan Marbury, we're going to have some problems. Who is going to be my starting guard? So, I don't know what to do. I could sell Walt Frazier, but then again, he's been one of my top guards. Also, I have Ben Simmons, so what the hell do I do? Do I get Pink Diamond Lin? Do I keep Simmons? Let me know in the comments what I should do right now. I'm going to show you what the EVO requirement is for 90, the first diamond, so it's really easy. Literally haven't even worked on this card long, but I'm going to show you real quick if I can find it. Jeremy Linami. So, he, this is what I have so far. He's about to be a diamond. His stats go up a ton. 86 steel, um, solid right there. 86, 88 perimeter right there at a diamond 93. So, this card's usable at diamond. Now, really like him. He is 6'3". He's definitely usable. I would recommend evoing him. I love Jeremy Lin, man. I'm a Knicks fan. So, could be sick. I could have Jay Lin, Pink Diamond Mello, Walt Frazier, and Kristaps in the starting line. Now, what I also want to talk about is I just got Bosch. Now, Chris Bosch is actually really good for me. I really do recommend the Bosch. I have Kristaps and Bosch as my centers. So there should be power forwards. But I have Giannis and Lamar power forwards, one of the two most OP cards in the game. So now, I'm kind of confusing my lineup. Obviously, I have Vince Carter. He is kind of a weakness, but he plays so good for me. Ben Simmons and Kobe off the bench. Kobe low-key plays better than Galaxy Oval Ray Allen. I'm not even kidding. Sounds crazy. Really do like him. But I don't know what to do with my lineup. Kind of confused. I have a ton of MT, a ton of investments. I kind of want to sell Bosch, but then again, I kind of don't. Might be going on a pack opening soon. I'm thinking about dropping a quick 100 bucks on 2K. Get another 200K of all uh, together. And yeah, make the God Squad. Right now, also with some pricing I do want to talk about. We got Ben Simmons for going... Uh, whoops, I botched that. Ben Simmons is going for around 120. So got him for a 95K buyout, which was sick. Was 140. He's going down to 120. I believe he might go up even more. Hopefully he does. This Ben Simmons card is really good. He only just, he just can't shoot. That's the one problem I have been seeing with the card. He can't shoot whatsoever, but you know what? Plays good for me. Richard Jefferson. Do I start Richard Jefferson or do I take Rick Barry? Um, I personally been loving Richard Jefferson. People hate on him. People hate on his jump shot. Honestly, he is the perfect role player off my bench. I love him. He's 6'7". He's a beast. Plays so good for me. People could hate on him. I think he's a very good card, but now... One person I would love to pick up at my small forward position is probably Pink Diamond Bird or Pink Diamond Zion. Have not decided. I could pick up one of them possibly today, but honestly, today's not a good day to buy. buy. Friday, we'll probably see more Prime. Maybe even Tuesday, we'll see more Prime. So we'll see where that goes. Not totally sure what the next Prime player could be. Hopefully, they do drop that question mark uh, type of car because that would be so cool. I really want to see... Um, what the next prime card would be. I'm thinking, I think Galaxy Opal Shack is a very possible reward. Definitely a very possible reward. As you can see, I'm going to show you right now. They did not drop 
um, the player yet. So it's a mystery player. It's definitely not an emerald. Don't know what the mystery player will be. I feel like Galaxy Opal Kobe or Galaxy Opal Shaq. But then again, I could be crazy. We could see a Galaxy Opal Reggie Miller. That would be insane. Could we see a Reggie Miller Pink Diamond? They haven't dropped them. Did they have them last year in 2K? I know they did a couple years ago. And it was crazy. Um, also, if you don't want to pick up Chris Stops, now is the time. He could probably get him for around 200 or less. Would definitely recommend picking him up. He's going to go only go up in value unless they do drop some crazy locker code. But yeah, no. This Chris Stops <coughs> is high key. One of my best cards. I love Chris Bosch and I love Chris Stops. So I decided to cop both of them. And they're both my starting centers. They both play amazing. I literally am obsessed with Bosch and Kristoff, so we'll not be changing them. Giannis will never be changed at my four unless there is a Galaxy Opal Giannis, which I will definitely get. Vince Carter, playing amazing. I got him for the low, decided to throw him in a lineup. He's been playing amazing. Reggie Lewis also is amazing. So right now, I don't know what to do. Also, if you guys are in, interested in upgrading your token rewards and whatnot, this is what I have. So I'm into the Pink Diamond. I could get two more and then i need four more for the galaxy oval stage now i'm kind of confused myself i'm saving my tokens as i believe they will drop fire diamonds and pink diamonds soon and maybe some amis they did not drop any amethysts in the token rewards so that is interesting next update they definitely will so for all you budget ballers looking for some amethyst token players you'll, you'll get them just wait simply wait you'll definitely get them also since i do see dennis robin here we could see a new Dennis Robin. Also, we could see a nice pink diamond Magic Johnson or a Galaxy Oval Magic Johnson. Some other players we could possibly see. Uh, let me think. We Let's see if there's any, like, evidence, bro. We could see a better Mitch Richmond. They do have a pink diamond. He's terrible. Um, Jamal Moshburn have two diamonds. City Monkey have a pink diamond. Sleepy Floyd have a diamond. Eh, I don't know. Maybe they will drop a... Uh, what's his name? Who's that power forward? Oh, my goodness. Who is that power forward on the Celtics? The diamond card. Oh my goodness. Why do I not know this? Celtics power forward. We're looking him up right now. I don't know why I can't. Oh, Kevin McHale. Okay. We could see a new Kevin McHale, which I really don't want to see. But we could. I don't know. I don't know what we could see. I would like a Kevin McHale. Would I use him? Probably not. But there is a lot of people for the prime. I'm trying to think. What other prime players can we see? I'm not totally sure. We did just get a Paul Millsap. We got an Isaiah Ryder. Could we see a Pink Diamond LeBron prime? Maybe Galaxy Oval LeBron for the prime set? That is also possible. We do have a ton of cards right now. We have the Pink Diamond Stoudemire. I'm trying to think. Is there any other legends that you guys would like to see and would let me know? Because I want to figure out who could be the next prime card. Um, right now, also, I have Flash 1 pretty much done. I just sold Jordan. I don't think it's worth the Taco Fall. If you guys do want Taco Fall, you could get them. But yeah, I got Jordan for 50 something K and I sold him for 78. So that was big dubs on my part. Everything is starting to go up on the auction. Also, if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any questions at all, if you guys want to see some certain videos, let me know down in the comments. Maybe we'll make a budget squad video, no money spent video. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, let me think. So we got nothing on our auctions. Do have a lot of stuff to sell though. Also, man, Jeremy Lin spotlights. I'm kind of behind, bro. I need to get Galaxy Opal Roy to make that lineup filthy. But yeah, I'm on game seven. It's nothing hard. Nothing hard at all. Only problem is, is getting the Kawhi and Carmelo. Would recommend trying to snipe them for hours. If you get a snipe on them, you are money. And also, one person I have not talked about in any video is Carmelo and Kawhi. We're actually going to go over their pricing quick. Before we do end this video, I'm um, looking for Spotlight, Jeremy Lin. Here we go. So Mel's 340, Kawhi's 240. So you need about 500k for them, 600k due to set. Um, realistically, like 550k due to set. Now, it's kind of crazy, man. I don't know. I think they could drop, but then again, I don't know what they're going to do. Are they going to drop? Are they not going to drop? Melo is insane. Definitely need this card as my starting small forward. What's his speed? What's his... What is his speed? 96 speed for Carmelo. 94 all... Mm, this card is filthy. Honestly, if you guys want to see Carmelo Anthony gameplay, make sure to smash that like button and let me know what you guys do want to see. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think about this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to drop the like, drop the sub, all that good stuff. Have a good one, guys. Peace.